the uh, sewer project on Jacksonville Court has been completed, um, and uh, we received our first invoice for that. With the assistance of the Hampton County Board of Health, we submitted a grant to the Ohio EPA for um, hardwired surveillance cameras for the um, recycling area down by our garage. Um, this is the first grant in Ohio that's ever been applied for for these cameras. And uh, there's from what uh, other indications of other counties that these use, are usually funded through the EPA. Um, it's just a minimal 10% um, cost that's associated with it. Um, we received uh, two um, estimates. Um, one was for $4,500 and the other one was for $5,500. So we took the $4,500 and put it in that grant. Um, we should know something probably by May if we're going to be funded for that. Um, there's 103 applications for grants that were turned in and they don't know exactly how much money they're going to have um, to spend for these grants and stuff. So we should be able to find something out in May. Did the Ocean Solid Waste give us the cameras initially? We have um, what's called trail cameras <coughs> there. Um, they don't have um, infrared. so. Um, I've lost five cases um, in the last year because they dump, somebody dumped something at night. Um, the only thing we could get was a, a license plate and we can't see the actual person. We can see a shadow, but that, we don't know who that person is. So, a lot more effective. Um, so these cameras will have infrared and they'll have pan and zoom um, on them where those are just fixed cameras and all they do is take like snapshots of when somebody um, moves around it just takes a snapshot of what's going on there and that's all that is so these are far better cameras than what's the um, and then the Board of Health doesn't have to come out and take the footage off of those the Board of Health comes out and takes the footage off the cameras now where they won't have to do that I just take it off the DVR and go through it it's got a 30-day storage on it and then we just take those off there when we find the violators Turn them over to the sheriff's department. Okay. Um, last Thursday and Friday, we had the ice storm that struck the county and uh, tri-state area. Um, we had some problems with getting the ice off the roads once it's stuck. Um, we have uh, rubber blades on our snow plows. The snow plows with lead rubber blades don't work. Pull ice off the road. Um, I did find a steel blade for our uh, snow plow and we put that on on Monday and we were able to kick up, pull that um, ice off the road. Um, we did have some complaints and stuff. Some of them were unfounded, uh, but some of them were where we couldn't get the ice from the road off, off the road into the curb area. So um, we did take care of those on Monday and all the streets um, as of today have been cleaned off. They, they melted off, but yesterday we had them all cleaned off and stuff. All the, heavy snow and ice was pulled off the road. Um, How much salt did we use We, oh, we used uh, 55 tons of salt and uh, we used, had uh, 53 man hours um, put in for two days for um, working that snowstorm. As of yesterday, Port of Finley and Oregon were still completed. They're cleaned off. They are now yeah. because of the They storm. were cleaned off yesterday, late yesterday. You, you plowed, but they weren't cleaned. <laughs> I, I plowed at the end of the day I plowed Porter Finley and there was nothing left on it. I would disagree with that okay. because that is exactly where I live and I have video of the storm. Oh Morgan, yes, I'm talking Morgan, about Morgan. Yeah. Well even Porter and Finley were still not in the best shape. I saw you plowing Porter Monday. Yeah. And we plowed uh, 